What's All up, right, guys? So now we're in today's game video, here guys. In, in today's video, we're going to be talking to you about how to win every solo challenge in Mutt. And uh, really quickly here, I wanted to just show you guys uh, a quick way to get into solo challenges. So you just want to go down here to solo challenges, select it, and the solo challenges that I recommend you starting with are actually the regular season challenges because there's 64 challenges here and uh, as you're gonna see here I am going to start up on my Cincinnati challenge but they don't take too long to do especially if you do the trick ticks uh, the tips and tricks I'm going to be telling you in this video. And also, guys, this is something that should transfer over uh, to Madden 15. So that's why I'm kind of doing this video. Uh, I just now started getting into Madden Ultimate Team. And uh, I hope that you guys really enjoy this and that you can find some uh, benefit in this. So uh, we're just going to play this game here. And what you want to do is you, you could select any playbook. The playbook that I find that works best for me uh, is, of course, the Arizona book. Uh, but also you could use the, um, one of the other playbooks that I like to use is the Minnesota playbook because it has the iForm twins in it. Um, but you want to just load this up here and then, uh, all you have to do from here is you want to go into this, uh, menu here. You want to put, uh, acceleration clock on on and you want to hit it on 10 seconds. Um, and the reason you want to do that is because it's going to, uh, run off the most amount of time possible. And then you just want to hit X to advance to your game, and we'll see you guys in game, and we'll break down the play real quick for you guys, and uh, then we'll have you on your way. So we'll see you guys in game. All right, guys, so now that we jump into game here, you see that we decided to kick, and that's the uh, one of the first things I wanted to hit on was I think that it's the, most, the best way that I find to get these games in the quickest is to just kick off instead of receive. Um, if, and, and the cool part is that if you win the toy coin toss, you can select a kick, but if the computer wins the coin toss, then they're always going to receive. Um, and then here, all we're going to do is we're just going to run some basic defenses here. Um, and we want to drop a lot of max coverage. Um, or, you know, I mean, you could, if you have a blitz like we do from the nickel strong, uh, that could send a lot of pressure, you can do that. But you really want to try to just maximize your coverage um, so that none of the basic routes are open. And when you get a fumble like that on the first play, that's obviously something that can help you out. But basically, what you want to do on offense, and I went ahead and picked up the Minnesota playbook here. You want to come out in any twins. So here we're going to show you if you're using Minnesota or something that has the iPhone twins flex, I think that's the best one to use. But you just want to have a halfback search or halfback stretch play, and you want to come out in that. In here, we're going to just run the ball here, and you want to just get tackled. You want to let them tackle you, kind of, because the thing about the halfback stretch is you can kind of break it whenever you want to with the game, with the way the game plays this year. So that's what we like to do from the iPhone twins. But if you don't have that, almost everybody else has this ace pair twins in their playbook. And the play that I like to use from there is the halfback stretch. It's also called the outside zone. And if you'll see here, you see that a lot of the clock just ran off. And, and, and now I'm going to just want to count it all the way down to one second uh, so it doesn't take too long. Um, so I snap at one second. And then here I just try to I try to get like a couple yards, but I try to get tackled um, before I get the first down because I know I can get it. Uh, I know I can get it with my thing here. So I accidentally hit the play fake spike. So I'm just going to run the clock all the way down and take a delay game. But uh, it's this type of strategy that can really help you run through these solo challenges. challenges challenges the defense won't be able to stop you and the cool part about this we're going to show you when we get when we score a touchdown here but what's going to happen is when you score your touchdowns i typically like to score either at the very end of the half or um or at the very very end of the game um, because if you score in the first half, the opponent will call timeouts. They'll also probably call timeouts anyways. So you can't really get around that. Um, but what you can do is you, if you uh, if they score, um, if you just, like I said, if you stick with the strategy, and what you can do is you can actually come out in like a field goal block or something and let them score. And here we're going to show you back to the iPhone twins. But you can just let them score. And what that will do is they're going to kick a field goal, and we're going to show you here how you can get um, how you can get an automatic two point conversion 
every single time against the computer. Now, I'm not saying that this will work against a user player. I'm saying specifically for solo challenges in Madden Ultimate Team, this is how I like to do it. So, um, here again, you're just wanting to run all the clock off. Then you can just bounce it out whenever you want to and break it off. Now, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to go ahead and score here. But under normal circumstances, I would have gotten tackled as soon as I got out of that uh, position. Now, here's how you uh, here's how you can score. You just want to use that same play. It's either this iPhone Twins stretch or the single back Ace Pair Twins. Not the Ace Twins, the Ace Pair Twins. And you want to use the stretch or the outside zone. And you see how the computer is always going to come out in that goal line when you get in this situation. So it's very easy. All you have to do is just hand the ball off and go outside. And now, even though your opponent may have scored a touchdown, it's still going to be 8-7 to seven and you're still going to get the victory. And that is how I like to beat every single Madden Ultimate Team challenge, uh, every single uh, solo challenge in Madden Ultimate Team, so that I can make some coins and uh, rank up the game. So hopefully this video gave you some value and insight into Madden Ultimate Team and something that you can easily do to get some coins and uh, we're going to give you our top five ways to make coins uh, probably next week because I am getting into mutt and trying to learn everything I can about it. So be on the lookout for that video, guys. But I hope you appreciated this one. And if you did appreciate it, if you could uh, go over to my Facebook page and like my Facebook page over there, um, you'll find some new content that I don't actually normally post on YouTube. And uh, hopefully you will enjoy that, and we'll talk to you guys soon.